Hi, welcome to Storytime with Gigi. Today we're going to be reading another peanut story by Charles M. Schultz. Our story today is called Messy Like Pigpen. Meet Pigpen, the messiest kid around. Pigpen takes disheveled to a whole new level. He is surrounded by a cloud of dirt jumps in every mud puddle and refuses to take a shower. Why? Pigpen believes he's covered in the dust of ancient civilizations. Who am I to disturb history, he always says. Every move Pigpen makes raises a cloud of dust. When he claps his hands at something funny on TV, puffs of dirt completely block the screen. When he reaches out to catch a baseball, he creates such a dust storm that he blends in with the outfield. Good grief, Charlie Brown says when the dust starts to bother him. Does messiness run in your family, Pigpen, or is your environment to blame? It must be my environment. I'm covered with it, Pigpen says. There are some advantages to being messy. According to Snoopy, if you put four walls around Pigpen, you would have an instant sandbox. And when it's hot outside, the layers of dust on Pigpen's skin keep him nice and cool. But sometimes even Pigpen notices that all that dirt has a downside. When he plays hide and seek, Lucy always finds him right away. Why? Because he leaves a trail of dust behind him that leads straight to his hiding spot. Works every time, Lucy says. That's when Pigpen asks for her advice. You're covered in dirt and dust, Pigpen, Lucy tells him. You don't need a psychiatrist. You need an archaeologist. Try to stay clean for an hour every day. It's good advice, but when you're a dust magnet like Pigpen, it's not easy to follow. Pigpen does occasionally try to be clean. He combs his hair when there is so many leaves stuck in it that he has to use a rake. He wipes off his eyes when there are so many layers of grit that he can't see where he's going. One time, though, Pigpen did the unthinkable, at least for him. It all started at school. Violet's friend Patty had just asked Pigpen why he didn't at least tie his shoelaces. What do you want me to, do, to be? Inconsistent, he replied. He had a point, but that's when the teacher announced that there was going to be a big dance at school. Pigpen was so excited that he decided to do the one thing he disliked most. I think it's time to take a bath, he thought to himself. Pigpen scrubbed and scrubbed at the dirt with a washcloth, but it didn't work. I think it's finally happened, Mom, he yelled. I've reached the point of no return. With a bit of elbow grease and after quite a few long, hot soaks in the tub, Pigpen was finally squeaky clean. He headed to the dance with a spring in his step. Wow, he looks very different. Who's the new kid, Charlie Brown wondered. <clears throat> then Charlie Brown realized the new kid was his old friend Pigpen and gasped. Good grief, Pigpen, is that you? I barely recognized you, he said. Neither did anyone else, Pigpen told him sadly. They wouldn't let me in. Well, at least you tried, said Charlie Brown. While they were talking, Pigpen got more and more disheveled. Suddenly, there was a wham. 
and Pigpen was filthy again from head to toe. What can I say, Pigpen said. I'm a dust magnet. You look messier than ever, Violet said when she walked by. Don't listen to her, Pigpen, Charlie Brown said. I'm beginning to wonder if you really are carrying around the dust of ancient civilizations. Sort of makes you want to treat me with more respect, doesn't it, Violet? Pigpen said proudly. Thanks for standing up for me, Charlie Brown, Pigpen said, and pulled some candy out of his pocket. Here, have some gumdrops. Charlie Brown knew that gumdrops weren't usually brown, but he didn't want to hurt his friend's feelings, so he ate them, dirt and all. Pigpen began to wear his grime with pride again. He showed up to Frida's birthday party looking dirtier than ever. Charlie Brown was surprised. Aren't you worried you'll be turned away? Pigpen shook his head. Nope, the present is clean. Sure enough, Frida welcomed them in and said, It's wonderful to see you, as Pigpen handed the present to her. Charlie Brown raised his eyebrows. Maybe the world needs messy people, Pigpen told Charlie Brown. Otherwise, the neat people would take over. Pigpen might be right. After all, if everything were clean and organized all the time, things might be a little too perfect. When you carry a cloud of dirt wherever you go, you always bring something interesting with you. And that's our story. I hope you liked it. Make sure you like and subscribe and share with your friends. Bye until next time.